Hi there, my name is Lauren Terry from brightsonwhite.com and this is the first Sage and Ada sewing project. Uh, this is a beginning quilting and sewing series that I'm making for a couple friends of mine. We're going to start out by making a really simple bag and for this project you're going to need half a yard that you want to be for the outer part of your bag. You're going to need three-fourths yard of some fabric for the lining as well as the strap. And then you'll also need half a yard of batting or just a scrap of batting as big as you want your bag to be. So this is what I'm using there, but you can just buy it from the store on a bolt as well. Okay, let's get cutting. If you don't have a mat and a rotary cutter and rulers like this, I'm gonna show you a way you can cut it out just with scissors first. Um, but my preferred way is definitely with the rotary cutter. So we need our bag to be 11 inches wide and our bag is going to be 13 inches tall, which means we need it to be 26 inches wide altogether. So I've folded the fabric in half, and my fold is right here. I've made sure that these top pieces are flush, so they're right next to each other. And now I'm going to measure up 13 inches from the fold and make a little mark. So 13 inches, and then I'd make a mark. Okay. Now, measuring from the straight side, I'd measure over 11 inches and draw a line. Now you need to go ahead and take a ruler, or I'm just going to use this, but and draw a line all the way from the top to the bottom. And then also draw a line across the top to meet that one. Okay, and so if you have to, you can just cut along that line you drew with scissors. Um, but I'm gonna, so if you need to cut out all of your pieces that way, go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna show you the way I like to do it with my rotary cutter and my mat. And if you are working towards quilting, it's really worth investing in just a simple rotary cutter, simple ruler, and a mat, because that's what we do use all the time in quilting. And also, just a word, be really careful with these. They're super sharp when they're brand new, and I, I cut my finger pretty badly once when I was first starting quilting, so. Be careful with those. All right, so I'm gonna cut a nice straight edge on here, and I'm making sure that I'm lined up on the bottom. So I have a line that goes across the bottom here, and it's lined up with the bottom of my fabric. And I never expose the blade until I'm just ready to cut. So I'm ready to cut. I'm gonna put my hand in the center, expose the blade, and then just push straight down gently. You wanna make sure that you don't push to the side, otherwise you'll, you'll move this while you're cutting and then your line won't be straight. Okay, so now we have our straight edge to go from. And this needs to be 11 inches wide. So I actually have a six inch ruler and a five inch ruler, which works out perfect for me. So I'm just gonna put these two rulers together, which makes 11 inches. And you know what, I can see already that I didn't cut that completely straight. So I'm gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna line this up with the bottom here. And then I'm also going to, what I forgot to do is line up this with the top. So you can see here's my selvage, and it creates a straight line right there. I'm making sure that this is lined up as well. Let's try that one more time. Okay, there we go. So let's get this. These two lined up. You're going to make sure it's flush all the way along the edge here. And then flush all the way across the bottom. Go ahead, place your hand in the center, expose your blade, and give it a cut. All right, now this is just some extra fabric that you can save for another project, or if you wanted your bag to be bigger, you could have just cut that, that piece bigger. Okay, now we need to measure 13 inches from the fold and cut. Make sure you don't measure from the top, otherwise your panel won't be big enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it right here along my mat, and I'm gonna line up this edge with this straight line. Come over to 13 inches. Line everything up and cut. Great. So now I have my starting panel for my bag. This is gonna be the outer edge. It's 11 inches by 26 inches wide, or by 13 inches if it's folded. 
So now you're going to do that again with the lining fabric and with the batting so that you'll have the outer fabric, the lining fabric, and the batting that's all the same size. Okay, now let's work on our strap. So for our strap, we need to cut two strips that are six inches wide by the width of the fabric, which is actually 42 inches long. So I'm just gonna do this the same way. I've cut a nice clean edge here on the side for myself to work from. I'm lining this up all the way to the top, across the top, across the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and make my cut. Okay, now I'm just going to scoot this over and make one more cut. Again, this ruler is six inches wide, but if you don't have a ruler that's six inches wide, let's say you have one that's only five inches wide, which is the one I have right here. The way I would do that is line up this, the bottom here with one of the lines on your grid for your mat and then you're going to line up this side with one of the lines on your grid. Okay, then you're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six and I know that I want to line up, line it up with this line on the grid here that's six inches over as well as this line at the top that's six inches over and then I can just cut it that way. All right, now we're going to cut one of these strips in half and cut the selvages off of them, actually. Let's do that first. So I'm going to lay them out with the selvages on this side and just try to make it all even and lined up. And then measuring just an inch over from the edge, I'm going to cut off that top part. See, this is just kind of the edge of the fabric that when you buy it, it always has that on it. Okay. Now is the time you kind of need to decide how long you want your strap to be because this bag is going to come over our shoulder and hang at the hip. And so for kids, I think like a 35 inch strap is usually best. And for me, I'm five foot nine and I like a strap that is one and a half the length of the width of fabric. So what I do is just cut one of these in half and then we'll sew this together so that it'll be as long as we want our strap to be. Um, but you can take a measuring tape and just put it over your shoulder and kind of decide how long you want it to be and then cut it to that length. But if you don't really care, just cut one of these strips in half and then we'll sew this together right along here to have one long strip. Okay, so I've sewn the half strap onto the full length strap right here. I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this from just a long, big thing of fabric into the strap for our bag. So first let's just iron that seam that you just sewed open. Now I'm going to take the whole length of the strap and iron it in half and press. So. I'm kind of trying to find the middle of this of this strap here. So yeah, go ahead and scoot it over when you need to. Press so you find that middle point all the way down. Okay, after you've done that, you're going to open it up. And we're going to iron either end, like both sides, so that they come and meet in the middle. So first I'm going to take this side and fold it up just so that the edge touches that middle line. And then press all the way down again. So it goes the whole length. Great, now I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Fold it so it meets in the middle and press all the way down. All right, the last thing you need to do is you're going to just fold it one last time so that all the raw edges are in the middle. 
And again, you're going to press the piece all the way down. After this, we're going to take it over to our sewing machine. So if you're uncomfortable with the fact that when we sew this, it might move around, you could take some straight pins and just put them in right here. Um, but you don't have to. So you can just kind of see how you're feeling at the sewing machine. If you want to just put some pins in so that you're not nervous about it, go for it. Otherwise, bring this piece over to the sewing machine and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so here's the strap and one side has a fold on it. And then along this other side, there are two pieces open. And we're just gonna sew this shut all the way down. So you'll start by just back stitching. And then you don't want it to be right on the edge, but you also don't want it to be too far in, otherwise it'll just look a little funny. So just go slowly so that you can get as straight of a seam as possible. And you're just gonna sew the whole length of this strap just right there next to the edge. And it's closing it up. It'll be ready to put on our bag after you finish this step. Okay, so we've got our strap done. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Now we're gonna start working on the bag. So I want you to grab your outer piece of fabric and you're gonna lay this with the right side up. And sewing right side means the one that you want to show when you're done with your project. And you're gonna grab your lining fabric and you're gonna put the right side face down. So this has, the side you want showing is up. Then you take the lining, the part you want showing, you're gonna put it down on top of that so that the right sides are together. Okay, and you're just gonna line up all along the edges and things. Smooth it out. Okay, now grab your batting and you're gonna put the batting right on top of that. It doesn't matter which side with the batting because it'll just be in the middle anyway. Okay, go ahead and smooth that out, flip it over. Again, you should see the wrong side of your outer fabric right here. And I'm just gonna put three or four pins in the middle of this so that when we bring it to our sewing machine, it doesn't shift. You can, you can definitely put more in if It'll help you. Okay. Now we're just going to sew one seam across the top right here and then across the other top right here. So both of the short sides you're just going to sew a quarter inch to half inch seam. So start and back stitch and just go straight across. Stitch at the end again. Okay. Now you can see I had my batting hanging off a little bit at the edge, but I just, I went half inch from the edge of my fabric and I'll just snip off that extra batting in a minute. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this All side. Right. So now that you've sewed a straight seam across the both of the short sides, we're gonna take out all the pins we put in and we're gonna flip it so it's right side out. So go ahead and put your thumbs on the outer fabric in the lining and then you're just going to pull it all the way down and around. So that you've got just this long panel here. Okay, now I want you to do two things. I want you to bring this to your ironing board. And you're just gonna, I lick my fingers, I lick my fingers and then like wiggle this fabric around and then press it so that it's got a nice straight top. That's gonna be the top of your bag. And then do that to the other side, press this top. After you've done that, you're gonna come along the edge here and you want to line it up so it's just as flush as you can possibly make it and you're gonna pin it all the way down on both sides. I do suggest using pins here just because we really want it to be flush and not to move around. Okay, so iron, pin, and then meet me back here. All right, next thing we're gonna do 
So we have our pins in. We're going to do a zigzag stitch all along each of the long sides on our fabric. This is just going to prevent it from fraying on the inside of our bag. So if you don't know how to do a zigzag stitch on your machine, get some help from someone who's familiar with it. And you'll just start right at the top and back stitch. Now when you do this, you want the outside of the stitch to be right on the edge of your fabric. Because if you did a zigzag stitch, like say right here, all the way down, then it'll fray all the way up until that stitch. So we're wanting to do the zigzag stitch right on the edge so it doesn't fray. Okay, do that to both of the long sides. Alright guys, we're getting close. So, we have this, the tops are sewed, the edges are sewed. Now, you're just going to take your piece and you're going to fold it with right sides together so that you can see the lining of your bag. And you're going to line up these two top edges and go ahead and put a few pins in there so that these two top edges stay right together. Because now we're going to turn it into an actual bag. Alright, after you've done that, bring it to your sewing machine and you want to line up the edge of your fabric so that you have about a half inch seam. So here, let me get this set. So a quarter inch to a half inch seam allowance is what you want. So you might not line it up with right the edge of your presser foot, but maybe one of these lines that are a little further out so that you'll have a bigger seam. And you're just going to start at the top and back stitch. And again, you're just going to sew all the way down. This is the side seam of your bag. Then you'll flip it over and do that to the other side so that it's closed on both sides. All right, so here's our bag. Don't turn it right side out yet. I'm going to show you how to attach the strap. So you can see this is the side seam that we just sewed. And I'm going to take my strap. And for this side first, all you need to do is just put it so that the top of your strap is about half an inch down from the top of your bag. And go ahead and put a pin in there. And what we're going to do is sew right underneath the top of this strap and probably just once across will be good. So I'm going to move that so that I can more easily get my bag in here. But you can do it with that attached. You know, if your machine doesn't have it come off, don't worry. It's just, it'll be a little more fussy for you. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and sew a seam. Okay. Alright, so our strap was going down, which is obviously not where we want it to end up. So take out your pin, and now you're going to fold your strap up, like this. And now you can pin it again. Now we're going to sew two seams. We're going to do one right here at the top, and you want it to be pretty much where you just did that last seam. So you're going to go across right here and across down here at the bottom. And that'll just keep our strap nice and secure and in place. So let me show you. All right, I've got all sorts of stuff. All right, now this is a lot of fabric that you're going through. So go nice and slow, at least at first. You can see I just went back and forth a few times to reinforce that because that's going to be holding your strap in place. So I did that top one, now I'm going to do this bottom one. Okay. Take out your pin and you can trim those threads. I'm going to do that later. Now we're going to do it to the other side, but you want to make sure that your strap isn't twisted. So what I do is I hold it and I just pull this and I keep pulling and I keep pulling until I bring it all the way over here to the other side. 
and then I check it just to make sure. Okay, that's how I want it because there's not any twists in the strap. Go ahead and open up the seam on the other side. Okay, so this is a little tricky. I got this over to this side, but what I want to do is flip this so that the edge is at the top. And then you're going to pin it and repeat the process. All right. So I'm going to sew right across the top here. And if this is getting confusing, just do one step with me and then press pause and then do the next step with me. All right. So this is our other side. Now we're going to fold this back up because we want the strap to be going up. I'm going to pin it again right here in the middle. And I'm going to sew two seams this time, one across the top and one across the bottom. And then go ahead and trim your threads. Okay, I figured I'd just show you real quick what I mean by trim your threads. So, you know, we just did all those seams and there's just a lot of little threads that are kind of hanging around. So you just kind of you know, take them and clip them off so that all those threads aren't hanging out everywhere. Okay, now if, if this is a place you can stop, and here I'll show you real quick, you turn your bag right side out. You've got a super cute custom bag that you can hold your supplies, art supplies, or whatever in. But there's one more step that you can do if you want, and this will um, just make it so you might be able to fit a few more things in the bottom of your bag. This is totally optional. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, but I'll just show you real quick, and then you can decide. So what we're going to do is get one of the corners and stick your finger in it inside the bag. Then you're just going to press it flat like this. And what we're going to do is just, I'm going to open this seam and just sew, sew right along here. So it's almost like it makes a triangle. Here's the side, one side, and you're going to sew right across the bottom. Trim your threads. Now we're going to do that to the other side. So stick your finger in. Here's the corner. Open up this seam and you just kind of put your hand in it. Don't put your hand in so that it's like, like this, but put it in so that it's going like perpendicular to the rest of your bag. And then open this and you're just going to pinch that off. And again, you can see there's that triangle, and I'm going to sew um, just roughly the same space so that it's the same size triangle. Okay. Trim off any extra threads. Now, when you turn your bag right side out, you can see that here at the bottom, we've made that little kind of flat bottom for the bag so that you might be able to fit a few more things in. It kind of makes the bag a little wider at the bottom. And there you have it.